Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Почему я здесь? Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Маднява. Таблетки. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Ванну не хочешь принять? There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Подожди секунду. Здесь ничего нового. Ага. Все еще подожди. Неужели ничего нового? Да, видимо, да. Ну ладно, сообщение. Ты ревнивец, что ли? Ага. I've been talking with the best-selling author Alan Wake about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> But this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective Alex Casey. Now, тебе будут все ненавидеть из-за этих спойлеров. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously though, seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. 
No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake, what's more do the... Oh, it's Sam. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want to ask... To get you? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Uh-huh. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. И как ты доберешься? Good luck, Al. Не плачь. See you later. Sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Это удачно солнце вышло. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Ну, в путь. Может, можно пешком? Да, здесь. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Oh. 
Какого черта? Давай, насылай еще кого-нибудь. Ох черт. Не сдерживайся. А, то есть ты потерял сознание на весь день, скорее всего. И да, это теперь Британия. Ага. Так, что-то интересное. Отель Мажестик. Основные сведения. При бронировании номеров вносится возмещаемый залог в 100 долларов. Личные чеки не принимаются. Принимаются все основные кредитные и банковские карты. Расчетный час 10.00. Громкая музыка и домашние животные не допускаются. Одно парковочное место на номер. Услуги только для зарегистрированных гостей. Посетители не допускаются на территорию после 9 часов. Без исключений. Надеемся, что вам понравится в Мажестик. Пенсионерам и ветеранам скидки. Ага. Based on the signature in the motel register, agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Ага, второй номер. А это какой? А вот и он. This had obviously been the room where agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. И это все? Даже страницы не будет. Обслуживание в мотеле что-то какое-то не, не очень. Кидаются тут всяким. Да хватит уже. Это тебя успокоит. Так. Ну, ладно, просто поехали дальше. Прыжок. А, так себе. О, нет. О, нет, нет, нет. Упс. Минус двери. Один фаер. Да. Я, пожалуй, лучше просто убегу от вас. Ох, бочки. Ой-ой-ой-ой-ой-ой-ой. Подожди. Вс 
Alter. Убегай, убегай. Ничего не вижу. Упс. Только не ты. Только не грузовики. Ну -мо. А, не то. Вот это. Так, теперь ты. Снова ты. Черт. Скажи мне, что это все. Не стойте на дороге, а? Ох! Черт! Упс. А здесь что у нас? Так. Раскрой мне секреты. Один фаер. Жадины вы. Ты хочешь пободаться? Сейчас пободаемся. Ха, обманул. Упс. Где здесь дорога? Мне не нравится это все. Быстрее с моста. Ох, 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 А нет, зря запаниковал. Что это было? Ну, пешочком. Камешки. На вас тратить время даже не стану. Идите сюда, 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 сюда. Упс. Забодали. Сзади? Ага. Давай. Надоели за все это время. Так, не подходи, дай подумать. Ага. Страничка. 
The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned, it didn't even notice. Hmm. И это все, я так понимаю. Поехали дальше. Как же далеко это озеро. Страница. In the end, Barry wasn't going to shoot Sarah. They both knew that. Once she had no chance of catching up to Wake, Barry gave up the gun and sat down on the floor, shielding his face from the merciless glare of the well-lit room. I don't think I'm ever going to see him again, he said in a weak voice. Sarah didn't have it in her to be mad at him. Besides, he was probably right. А зачем ему вообще стрелять не? Где-то здесь дорога была, да? Упс. Ну и ладно. Тут все равно, видимо, да, не пройти. Не проехать. А, нет, проехать. Это еще что за место? Тайник. Не здесь. Это ловушка. Ага. Где ты? Ну ладно, это стоило того. Так, куда же дальше? Здесь что-то есть. Все посетители должны отметиться у смотрителя. Перед входом на свалку... Это свалка. Необходимо подписать отказ от претензий. Если нужна конкретная деталь, сначала спросите о ней. Для самостоятельной добычи деталей приносите свои инструменты и надевайте защитную одежду. Внимание, кучи могут сдвигаться. Опасная зона. Да, в такую ночь кучи не, не то, что могут сдвигаться, они будут. Ну и вот вы. Стреляй. И уворачивайся. Так. Это все. Хотя наверху. А, мне сюда и надо было. Смотри. А, здесь? Да, вот они. Ну или просто он. Мазила. Вот так. Ах, 
свалка, так свалка. Ладно, прыгай. Ага. Надеюсь, я на правильном пути. Так, мне вот... Мне вот ты не нравишься. Зейн cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. То есть Томас еще и погиб. И это не просто... Что это? О, вау. Не просто так нам дают ресурсы. Фонарь перегорел. Я тебе не доверял. Ой-ой-ой-ой-ой. А, это будет безопасно, нет? Так, главное до машины дойти. Давай. О, спасибо. Это было гораздо проще, чем могло бы быть. Ага. М -м, я хочу туда. А, у меня не получится. plan back in the well-lit room. I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Это просто не может быть просто. Так. Это было даже не обязательно. Понятно. Ну раз ты здесь... Включим. И тебя тоже. Эх. Упс. 
Фонарики. Подходите. Мне показалось, вы взрыва опасные. Так и где остальные? А к черту побежали сюда. И ты завалила башенку. Это тир теперь? А. Только не бензопила. Только не ты. Двое? Шикарно просто. Иди сюда, иди под лампочку. Хорошо, это все? Отлично. Я, наверное, мог просто убежать. Дарк-плейс, For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me, the words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. Но где же уже озеро? Ой, да. 